Eight, She's a bundle nine, of energy now, ten, but 11, as a baby, 12, Bella nearly 13, died after 14, a rare complication 15, of infection called Kawasaki 15, disease 15, attacked her heart. 15, I think as a mother, you know your children very well. And when you know something's wrong, that something is really wrong. Kawasaki disease is an overreaction of the body's own immune system and the treatment is a concentrated dose of antibodies called immunoglobulin. When Bella got her dose, the effect was immediate. It was a complete change, like within a few hours. She's gone from almost emotionless, like immobile, wouldn't get off me, to all of a sudden she was eating again, she had energy again, she was back to what I thought was her normal self again. And it was just amazing that this one thing could change her back to normal within a couple of hours. When the pandemic hit two years ago, the number of children like Bella needing immunoglobulin more than doubled. We've seen this upsurge in the, the number of children with Kawasaki's disease. And the speculation is that uh, with the COVID um, pandemic, the, uh, you know, the immune uh, dysregulation has resulted in more of these cases now. That means more immunoglobulin is needed for Kawasaki disease and a whole range of other immune disorders. And as it is extracted from blood plasma, England's blood donation service is looking for more people like Daniel to become plasma donors. It's a really useful and easy thing to do. It doesn't take long and it uh, doesn't take long to recover. So try it, see if you're eligible to do it and then see how you feel. In England, donors do need to be able to travel to special donation centres in Reading, Birmingham or West London. But if more people do make that effort, there'd be a more secure supply of a medicine that can make the difference between life and death for many families. Catherine Jones, 5 News.